and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anna Grace, and today I'm going to be doing a really fun video. And it is all about braces, tips, and tricks, and just my experience with braces. So if you guys don't know, I have braces. It's kind of hard to tell in, like, videos I have braces, but I do. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I, when I first got my braces on, I watched a lot of these videos just because they really kind of get you in the mood for braces and they make you a little bit more happy for braces. So yeah, let's start it off when I was in fifth grade. And it was, like, right before Halloween, and I went to the orthodontist, and they were just going to do some, like, fittings for, like, my braces and stuff and molds. And they're like, you want to get braces on today? And I was like, uh, and then I got my braces on three days before Halloween. But it was chill. It was, it was good. And, yeah, so I just got the, like, the metal ones. I don't have, like, Invisalign or ceramic or whatever. So, yeah, that's just what I did. And I really like braces, like... I don't know, I feel like they make me a little bit more confident just because they're like a little bit of bullying on your teeth. And yeah, I don't know. A lot of people like, they're like, oh, I do not want braces. I'm, I really wanted them, but now I am so excited to get them off. So this is like right before I'm going to go to the orthodontist. And I'm kind of going to take you guys along with me, but I'm not going to go in the orthodontist. But that'd be weird. So I'm going to give you some tips on just about braces. So I'm actually kind of scared to go to the orthodontist because I don't have like yellow like rings around my brackets. So, I have been, like, really working hard to not get this. So, my first little trick that I did is I used this mouthwash. It is the At Braces Care. And it's kind of dirty right now. And it's, like, blue. Looks like this. And you just swoosh it in there, and it says it helps loosen particles. It helps prevent white spots and cavities. Soothes with aloe, so if your mouth is hurting. And it freshens your breath. So, I really liked using that, and I have used it for a while since I got braces, and I think it's really helped. Um, so, yeah, maybe use a mouthwash that's for braces, and that will help a lot. Another thing that I use that I think has really helped my braces in my experience is a water pick. So, it looks like this, and I got it from Walmart, and you just, like, put some water, or what I've been doing lately is I've been putting mouthwash, and I think that helps a lot. And then you just put it in there, and you, like, floss your teeth. <laughs> because your dentists are always like, like that are not orthodontists, they're like, you need to floss your teeth, it's so important, and I'm like, I totally understand you, but it is so hard, it takes like 10 minutes to floss your teeth, and I don't have extra 10 minutes in the morning to floss my teeth with a normal, like, floss and like, bring it under, I don't know, it's, ugh, look. So, I've been using this, and I think it really helps, and, yeah. So, I have actually got my, I'm like, not really scared going into this, um, about, like, getting my braces off, because, okay, wait, let, let's backtrack, so another thing that I wanted to talk about is, like, the do's and don'ts of braces, I know they give you this big paper, it's like, do not do this, and eat it, I don't know, I have done, like, all those things, and I've only broken a bracket with the little, like, hard, like, Tootsie Pops, those, because if you bite into those like me, it breaks those brackets, and it hurts, so, yeah, don't break those, but, I, it's like, says, like, I've chewed, like, popcorn and gum and all that stuff. I have still done that, and I don't think it's, like, ruined my, like, braces experience or anything. I think it's fine. But it says to not chew on pencils and pens. And, like, the little thing that's, like, you, like, hook, you're supposed to, like, hook onto, like, the shirt or I don't know. But those, I chew on those, like, 24-7. It's kind of bad. Like, like, I do that in, like, class all the time. But that has never broken my brackets before. But it has, like, chipped my tooth. So, don't do that. That is uh, not something you should do, but I still do it. Anyway, so yeah, and that's kind of what you should and shouldn't do. So, last year before school ended during the summer, I got my braces off because my orthodontist, I, there's two orthodontists at the place I go, and one of them told me that I was supposed to put my rubber bands, like, as triangles, like the triangle ones, and I did that, and it messed up my bite because he told me the wrong thing. So, they had to take my braces off so I could kind of, like, my bite would go back to normal. And it's how it was, and so I did that, and it spread my like my teeth like spread out a lot, so because I didn't have a retainer, so it was kind of bad, like it was like a bad and good experience. So I'm I kind of know how the taking your braces off thing works, and it did not hurt at all, but it kind of like chills my teeth. But I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't really know anything that's gonna happen today, but I do know that I really want the like Invisalign retainer because they're gonna take moles for that, and I'm probably gonna throw up. Um, because I, like, gag really easily, but, yeah, so, um, yeah, wait, what else were we gonna say? Oh, yeah, so, like, I know kind of that experience, but I haven't, like, actually gotten, like, full experience. I just got them off for, like, a month, so, I'm really excited to get my braces off, and I'm so excited, and, yeah, I got you guys some tips, 
And another thing I have is you want to get your bracelets off on time. I have only had mine for about two and a half years, which it may seem like a lot, but it hasn't really been that much time. And if you want to get them off, like a lot of my friends, they do not wear their rubber bands. I have tried to wear my rubber bands, like, as much as I can. I sleep in my rubber bands. Like, I had rubber bands I had to wear, like, 24-7, and I did. And I think that really helped me. Um, but it also says that you have to wear them at night. And I have, like, worn them at night, but this, like, last two months I have not been wearing them. So, yeah, but I, don't, I think it's good. So, yeah, I'm really excited to get my braces off, and I'm so excited, guys. So, I will give you guys, like, a close-up of my, like, teeth, like, after they're done. But this is what they look like right now. So, yeah, that's what they look like right now, and I will see you guys, like, before I go into the orthodontist. And I'm so excited to get my braces off, you guys don't even know. And today is a Thursday, and so I, like, there's one more day till winter break. So I'm super excited because I did not have to go to school today. But yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, so I got my braces off. So I'm going to show you guys. So the lighting is probably a lot different and I don't have my vest on anymore. Because I don't even know what happened to it. But I got my braces off and they feel really slimy. I don't know, I just can't stop smiling. It is so awesome. I love having my braces off. I just, ah, I love it so much. So... I kind of have some bad news for you guys. Braces. Getting your braces off, it hurts way more than getting them on. But it's totally worth it. Because you have a really pretty smile. But, so I was like, so we went. And since it's before Christmas break, they're going to be closed for the next three weeks. So we had to wait until my retainer would be done. My last name is on here, so I'm going to cover that up. But it has my retainer in it. And we waited for, like, a really long time so I could get my retainer. And so, they finally called my name and they're like, okay, your retainer's done. Oh, so, what they do when they take it off is so, like, they just rip it off like like they would change, like, your like your wires and they just pull the brackets off. It doesn't hurt, like, what like whatsoever. But then, he takes this, like, little brush thing and it's, like, really, like, it's metally and spins really fast. And it, like, goes around all your teeth. And it's, my teeth are so sensitive. And I was like, ah! And I was, he's like, put your hand up every time it hurts. I was like, I could not put my hand down because it hurt so bad. But after that got over, they have to take impressions for your retainer. They actually took mine last week so they knew it would be ready. But I can tell you, impressions are so bad. And I have a really bad gag reflex. And so I kept, like, gagging. I was like, oh, oh, oh. It, oh, it was really bad. So, anyway, they got my retainer done. And it, I got a black case because it was either this or like a really ugly blue color and it wasn't even like I don't even know what to describe that blue but I got black I think it's really like matte and it has my name right here I'm going to cover up my last name it has my name it's really cool and you pop it open and they said that the first one is free but for the rest of my life they're $160 which is a lot of money so yeah but this is what my top one looks like I'm supposed to be wearing them right now but I'm not wearing them because I would have a list and I was talking to you guys and so you can't eat or drink with these um you have to take them out unless you're drinking water and then you have to wear them like for I have to wear them for 10 weeks straight until I can like get them off they're kind of like like sloppery and they told me I need to wash them with like hand soap and I was like that's disgusting but anyway that's what they told me and so I went to Walmart and I got stuff so, this is like a mini Walmart haul so, with only four things. I'm like out of breath. Is that bad? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So, the first thing I got is I got some new toothpaste. This is the 3D Crest White Arctic Fresh because I was talking to my orthodontist about how I wasn't like, I wish my teeth were a little bit more white. I mean, yeah, this lighting is really bad, but it was pretty good. Like, last time I got them off, it was, like, good. They weren't, like, too yellow, but they're kind of yellow right now, which is kind of annoying. So, whatever. But I got this, and he recommended anything by Crest that has white on it. So, like, the Colgate white, which isn't Crest. The Crest 3D white, anything that's, like, that. And so then I got this, which is a daily cleansing and whitening system, which it comes with, like, two toothpaste on here, but it's, like, for whitening, oh, for whitening your teeth, and it's supposed to work like really well. And yeah, so I'm gonna use that. And I kind of want to open this up right now, but I'm not going to because I don't, I don't want to. But they had this, and they had one for like making your teeth more healthy. 
It was really cool, so, yeah, it was by Chris as well, so, I really liked it. I, I'm so excited to go and whiten my teeth, because I was going to get whitening strips, but my orthodontist told me not to get whitening strips, because I was talking to him, and he told me not to get them, because they will, like, damage your teeth, and we don't want that. So then I also got this Reach floss, and I thought it looked cool, so I was like, why not, but it, I needed floss, it, like, wasn't, like, my water pit. And then I got these things because I've been hearing a lot about them and I wanted to see if they were worth the talk. So I haven't tried them yet, but we'll try them. And they're called these Steri, Steri Pod. I, I don't know. But it's like a clip-on thing for your toothbrush. Like, you do that. And it's supposed to, like, keep all these germs. Because, like, you see where there's, like, a little like, blue thing. It's supposed to keep the germs out. Like, um, anything else I have to say about getting your braces off, it is so worth it. Even though the retainers actually, like, kind of hurt. Like, like, they're so tight. I was like, I don't think they're supposed to be as tight. I don't know if this is the bottom or the top. I think they're... Yeah. This is for the bottom. Look. I'm gonna have a lisp. See a lisp? Lisp. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, so that's, like, all about braces and, like braces 101 and tips that I have for any of y'all that are having braces problems.